the honesty issue and i'm sky i'm katie and today we are talking about questions featuring side hair what if it's crunchies in right now gosh today we're doing a q a yeah we've been waiting to collect some questions over the past how long have we been doing this like a month yeah a month a yeah so we're going to answer some questions for you okay knowledge. first one how old are we I'm 21. And I'm 19. What is our favorite food? Chicken nuggets. <laughs> she loves chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. Eat, and french fries. I really love french fries. Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I like pasta a lot. Next question. Where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. She's a Jersey girl. No, but I was like... Born and raised in Syracuse, so I feel like that's a redeeming quality. I'm from Virginia, a town called Fredericksburg. Favorite television show? Man, these are hard questions. I'm definitely gonna have to say Saturday Night Live. And do you like Grey's Anatomy? And Grey's Way Anatomy. Way too much. I actually have recently had to stop watching it because they kept killing off people and I didn't think it was okay. <laughs> Georgia and Alley forever. I really like. Orphan Black and Workaholics. What is your all-time favorite book? Old Man and the Sea. I mean, that it's wasn't time. even like a question for you. Yeah. Pass. No, you can't pass. I'm an English major. So? I've read a lot. The Help. The Help is my favorite book. Okay. You ready for some more <laughs> hard-hitting questions? Okay. What were you like in high school? Okay. Which High school. Which, which year in high school? <laughs> which me? I was the I was a mean girl. I was mean and popular, but I had a lot of mental health issues at the same time, so <laughs> I didn't fit. So I I felt very uncomfortable in high school. For freshman to sophomore, Skylar was really emotional and dark, and wore a lot of black and did eyeliner on both top and bottom of her eyes. And I totally rocked that trend of like having that fake like hair clip in color thing. Rocked the hell out of that. Oh my god. That was me. And then junior to senior Skylar is the same Skylar as is today. <laughs> if we're gonna talk about what we dress like like what did you dress like in high school? Well, I went to Catholic school. That's true. <laughs> and then I went to public school. I don't know. I was very like, I hate my parents. I'm rebellious. I'm going to wear really short shorts and dye my hair a lot. That's so funny. I wore Victoria's Secret yoga pants with Keds and a v-neck every day. How has your illness and getting help with your illness helped you? That's a great question. That's no, it's a, not. Go. My fiance likes to point out that I'm not my illness. Regardless, it has changed me. Being a person with mental illnesses has changed me to know myself a lot better, as well as have a lot of empathy and sympathy for other people. Mm -hmm. And then getting help with that illness has changed me in trying to be more optimistic and a lot more mindful. I would say my illness has changed me in that I can handle hard things. Like, I hate the saying you can do hard things. People tell me all the time I think it's so annoying. You just said that five I hate minutes it. ago. Uh, but I feel like I can handle more than most people can because we've been through a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Getting help for my illness has changed me in that it's allowed me to cope with my mental illnesses better, which allows me to stay alive. How would you like to see society change the way we approach mental illness? This is huge for me and Sky. I think that's why we started these videos in the first place. We hate the stigma that goes along with mental illness. We hate jokes about mental illness, people being called crazy or using our mental illnesses as descriptions for people. We want people to realize that mental illness should be treated just like any other illness. What outlets work best for you? Meditating. Gardening. I've been doodling a lot lately. I would say mine... Watching comedies. Yeah. I find that that helps me get out of whatever funk that yeah. I'm in. It allows me to laugh and realize that life... Doesn't suck all the time. Yeah. <laughs> when did you realize something was wrong? Probably when I was in seventh grade. I started just staying in bed all the time and not leaving my room ever. 
I guess in fifth grade where it all kind of like started. I didn't even have like a red flag about starting to cut or anything, but I would talk to my teacher about my abuse at home and uh, kind of what I was feeling because of that. And he's like, Skylar, I think, I think you should talk to somebody a little bit more about this. I think, you know, you might have depression. And fifth grade, that was the first time it had ever been like brought up to me. Yeah. And so I was like, huh, that's not normal. Who has helped you most in recovery? My dad. My dad's the best. I love him. Shout out to dad. My dad has helped me out a lot. It wasn't always that way, but it is now, and I'm really thankful for that. And also my fiance, it's kind of like, you can do this. And now that I'm in your clean, he's, you know, he's always seen that in me, even though I didn't think that was possible. There have been so many people that have played a big part in my recovery. I'm gonna have to say Sam and Lacey have been the biggest part of my recovery. They have shown me what true unconditional love is and have stayed with me through every ups and downs and I've put them through a lot. What is your favorite physical and mental thing about yourself? I like my hair. I was once told by a really good friend of mine that my vulnerability is the most amazing thing about me. I said that kind of weird. But it's just, I always thought that vulnerability was such a weakness. And over the time, especially with poetry and doing this, that I realized that vulnerability is so cool. And I'm really happy that I show myself so freely to people. My favorite physical thing. Let's give that. No, Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin. I'm really good at giving advice. And she's a rockin' bod. Um, biggest fears. I'm really afraid of ticks. I really <laughs> don't like them. Also veins, which I know is super like conflicting. Like getting blood drawn? I yeah. Actually, I love getting blood drawn. I love watching it like go into like the tube. I just That's, really like, I must I'm get not that even afraid of something. needles. I'm not even afraid of needles. I just hate veins. My biggest fear is being irrelevant. What do you mean? When I die eventually. Or tomorrow, who knows? But I want to have left like my mark on the world. Also, I am very, very scared of tornadoes. <laughs> I am the first person in the bathtub with the matches over their head in a room without windows. I will cry in even thunderstorms because I assume that if it's a thunderstorm, a tornado is going to follow. So I hate that. Anyway, those are um, the questions that we got. If we'll do one of these every so often, yeah. probably. So please, if you have any random questions, email, comment below, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Shebang. and all of those addresses will be in the description box below. We love you guys. We love you so much. Okay, yeah. not only do we have the same hairstyle, but we're wearing, <laughs> same like, the same color. color. <laughs> Plus, we've been like, same, finishing each other's sentences. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs>